ดีค่ะ Good morning and welcome you back to the afternoon sessions in front of the main stage. You are at the central stage in a site 2023. And from this session, I'd like to uh, ask for those who are interested, uh, would like to hear the uh, sessions. And we are in the uh, innovation uh, partnership together with We Grow, and we uh, will create the innovation partnership together and the session that will be here in the afternoon we will be here at how we promote the innovation business in Thailand and for those who are interested please feel free to take seat in front of the main stage and gentlemen right here right now we are going to start our afternoon session um, for the second day for this session are going to be held from our distinguished speaker are going to discuss in the topic of innovation business promotion in Thailand but are going to conduct it in Thai if you would like to receive the interpretation headset you can contact our staff right next to the stage on your left side um, or so that you can receive and contact us to receive the device and now we are going to start the afternoon session in a minute so we will talk and discuss how we can promote the innovation system business in Thailand and I think it's now time and the speaker is ready to so uh, ask to share the information to all of you and may I invite our speakers to discuss on interesting topics. The first one, please welcome to Kun Warakan Goson, Pisit Kun, Director of the Competitive Net Enhancement Division. And up next, let me invite on the stage Kun Prapan Jalen Pawat, Manager of Market for Alternative Investment and Life Exchange. And please may Welcome, Kun Akarad Bunyasilit, the head of the tax policy section from Revenue Department. And together with Kun Taksaon Sombun Sap, the legal expert. In the session for the moderators, we are very honored to have Kun Utaiwan Watana Suwagun, the investment advisor. Good afternoon, all participants, both online here in Surikit. Um, uh, exhibition center and um, who watch the broadcast you know in startup Thailand and NIA uh, channels so we here to discuss about how we promote the innovation business as well as the capital market anything that we can really provide the support to the entrepreneurs as well as the new um, uh, business people so the um, a lot of participants that I talk with the speakers that we would provide the we will talk informally in order to really reach out to the participants here and at the end of the session if you have any questions for the speakers if you have enough time we'll open the um, Q&A um, session so very honored to uh, be the moderators of the day and if you talked about startup I think everyone may feel the same that it sounds cool right and you feel that you are new business people and apply innovation to drive uh, your own business and do you know uh, based on the studies so these are the facts uh, only 10% of entrepreneurs uh, that can grow uh, the business to be uh, to reach the unicorn level or to be ready to operate you know the business with a leap jump but we are here today in order to discuss together and provide useful information for those who prepared or for businessmen who are in the in the market uh, so as to drive the business 
and uh, achieve how you can achieve you know your business target. Let me start off with the first speaker, Kun Director Waragan from BOI, uh, which is the um, net, the invest investor, the board of investment of Thailand. If we talk about BOI, people may think about big business or um, industrial factories or big uh, investment in order to uh, contact with BOI. But for new uh, comers, you know, or, or how new business people, how they can reach to BOI. Thank you very much. Talking about uh, BOI or the Board of uh, Investment of Thailand uh, for the startups and uh, you young folks may already know because we are in the uh, different news or in different media how much you know uh, prom uh, support that we gave um, as a total, how much you know uh, uh, millions or billions that we. Uh, support uh, actually we support you know different levels of the business from small medium and large business but when we mostly uh, work on public relation it mostly uh, uh, really involved with with a big business that required uh, a huge you know investment but our uh, condition is uh, uh, the capital um, should be not about 1 million baht uh, exclude the land cost and for SME, we uh, adjust the investment capital in order to m fit with SME. And the minimum requirement is only 500,000 uh, capital for FME. So in order to receive the support, we have uh, a different uh, type of account. Let's say not uh, all the business and all project could be supported. We have 400 you know, uh, business type. Uh, that we cover, uh, we cover almost all the business type uh, in Thailand. Well, it's not uh, difficult to really approach to BOI because uh, BOI uh, really support to um, different kinds of the business type. Uh, if they become interested, how they could contact BOI? It's not. Uh, difficult though, uh, you can come to contact us uh, by yourself, or you can contact through different uh, medias, or go to www.boi.go.th. So in the website, uh, you can uh, learn, you know, a different uh, knowledge how you can put investment and what are the processes. And even here, if you're interested, you can pop by the our booth, which locates in the middle of the uh, hall, and we have staff to provide you the information. Thank you so much. And uh, once we have learned from BOI and we know that BOI has sort of a, a tax tool, you know, like tax exemption of the in uh, personal income or the tax exemption or importing the uh, machineries and other tools, you know, really to really help uh, the uh, entrepreneurs that are in under the criteria. Well, actually, in order to operate the business, you need to have um, uh, investment. You had need to have a capital, right? If you are newcomers, if you want to be granted, if, if you talk about the uh, exchange market, seems like it's kind of far. Uh, uh, do you have any any uh, kind of um, assistance that you can provide to newcomers? Mm -hmm. Very good afternoon to all uh, participants and all speakers, and from BOI, BOI uh, support you know uh, businesses, and I am in. We are in the startup event and. There are uh, young gen uh, people or uh, participants who could become the future, you know, business people. Let me just share with you that a couple of uh, two years ago in in October, there was one company registered at uh, as a startup, and CEO or uh, this is a young. There was the youngest CEO or the youngest business owners, you know, who registered with BOI, only twenty year, uh, twenty eight years of age, and these guys owned. Uh, uh, one billion of of the value of the business, Mr. Jayang Pan, Mr. Jayant, when he was thirteen, uh, he, his family business was property business. Uh, he his family conduct a uh, property business, and he started to learn uh, um, uh, about website until he's like uh, er, he's in the early twenties, uh, and he started uh, ebook business. I'm not so sure if you. Have you heard about the word kawibook.com? Have you heard the books? And he operated the business for five years. And he took 
k a w i book which is the uh, online book uh, you know online and he registered in MAI at the exchange market and the market uh, the uh, company value uh, plus the current pa- uh, stock it, it could be quantified as much as um, uh, 1 billion kun mass or kun j a l a n p a t hold 40% of share so he has 400 uh, million uh, but These are the samples of the young gen who dream to do business. And I'd like to really uh, tell you, as you all are um, new gen and you are living in the uh, technology area, so technology can really facilitate facilitate you to do business, and you can expand the market by using the social marketing or digital marketing, and you have a lot of ex. Um, Opportunity, and you can get uh, support from different uh, government agencies, from BOI or from the uh, Intellectual Property Department or NIA d e p a So uh, a lot of uh, agencies are willing to really help the entrepreneurs to grow their business. So that was the sample. Let me show you that our uh, exchange uh, uh, market, uh, we have set. Uh, for uh, conglomerate uh, companies, there are 600 of them. Set was established more than uh, 48 years, and we have MAI, you know, uh, which responsible for 200, you know, uh, companies. And the third one is called Life Exchange, that responsible for SME and startups. They can do fundraising, uh, so people can uh, raise the funds with a short end of time, with a little, uh, le- little less, uh, less expense. So uh, in order to get Uh, for live exchange, you know, uh, you can do fundraising uh, easily, and Rise platform can really uh, uh, assist the entrepreneur to gain uh, knowledge and have tools in order to prep themselves to approach to the uh, income source. So I like you to uh, really uh, check it out in live platform. Why don't you go and search in Google L I V E Live and platform P L A T F O R M X Platform, so it will pop up a lot of information for you to really learn, and uh, about online you can really learn. There are 650 contents you can gradually learn, you know, about that. And other than that, there will be scaling platform. There are other helper or tools. There are uh, support from different more than there are support from more than 40 uh, government agencies to really help entrepreneurs to have in depth. Information and there are a lot of courses to really uh, help you to really approach or get access to the funds source. So why don't you go and study it from live platform? It could it will help linking you to different organization, and so you can uh, strengthen your business model. You can prep yourself, and uh, there will be uh, supporting funds uh, like go to Life Spark and uh, take online uh, training for half day or a day, and you can gain a twenty. Five thousand baht as a grant to prepare billion, billion baht to uh, to and or you can join three um, day online and you can get fifty uh, thousand baht. You know it's free and um, it's uh, is it for public or uh, just for general public? Not a uh, focus or limit to the uh, business people and for please go and search live platform and. Uh, Go to Life Spark and register online, and you can take one day course. You can learn and you can get a, a, a fund of 25,000 baht uh, in order to upskill and reskill uh, and gain more knowledge, and uh, f- try to find accountant to do uh, online accountant for peak or for account or a c r e o There's a lot of helpers. That's very good. And uh, how many entrepreneurs who uh, join LiveX are there? Many of them. Yes, yes. Is the third. For the live exchange, which is the third market that was set up last year, uh, we have uh, we already have three companies that are listed, and this year there are five companies, and we have around 40 to 50 companies on the pipeline who uh, plan to list on the live exchange. And what about entrepreneurs? When would they be ready to list on the market? So as I mentioned, there are three markets: set and M. 
AI are open to uh, all businesses, but they need to have a strong uh, capital and uh, a decent amount of uh, profit. And for the life exchange, it's easier to list on that market. They need to have a high capacity to grow, even though they don't have a lot of profit. Now, we don't look at the profit. Uh, if they are SMEs, they should have uh, a revenue of more than 50 billion baht for startups. They should um, have uh, VCs uh, that are investing in the company and uh, And they also have to file uh, a statement. And then, uh, so the first company received 80 uh, million baht, 60 million baht, and 50 million baht. So uh, they should fundraise for about uh, 50 to 100 million baht. And then after two years, they can list on the MAI and set. So that is the first step that uh, will allow them to enter the market. So it's not as difficult as in the past, right? Because uh, it was difficult to enter the market ba back then. Yeah, but it's becoming easier. Because in the past, uh, it was really difficult to list on the market. Uh, to list on the stock exchange, uh, you had it. It was uh, you had to go through difficult steps, and the cost was high. But with life exchange, uh, the steps were easier, and so it's easier for people to access funds. So this is the platform of the uh, stock exchange and live exchange. Actually, uh, we might not know about this issue. It's actually difficult, but it's possible. Apart from platforms, in terms of um, look, seeking more information, how can the public contact you? For the live platform, there are uh, contact numbers of the staff, and you can also type in questions, but you can also sh search a live platform on Google and contact uh, the staff that way. There's also the website, Facebook, and the line application. So they can contact you online. Yes, that's correct. And in the future, we will also have TikTok. So you have all platforms, right? For the BOI, uh, it's usually Facebook and Line. Thank you. So as an entrepreneur, if we talk about the revenue department, uh, it's like we are afraid of doing things wrong. And uh, we understand business operators. But for new businesses, the law is something that is not part of our daily lives. So if we want to understand more about the law, or even the revenue department doesn't only collect taxes, but you also have various measures to support the ecosystem of startups. Can you tell us about that, Kun Akarat? First of all, uh, the, uh, Kun Utaiwan has mentioned uh, paying taxes. So the revenue department has two main goals. The first is to collect taxes. And in collecting taxes, we try to uh, aim for people to voluntarily pay taxes for new businesses. We have a tool that will enable them to pay taxes uh, in an accurate and timely manner. And these services are on the website of the Revenue Department. There are various applications and programs. Apart from that, we also provide knowledge, whether it is general knowledge or specific knowledge on various matter so they can study these issues on the website of the revenue department another main goal is to use uh, the tax policies to enhance uh, the society and in terms of startups what we are working on is capital and the manager of life has already talked about capital 
and in this manner uh, it's related to a fundraising of startups and one of the factors is that investors often think that they will uh, often think about the profit that they will receive although investment in startups come with risk more risk than other types of businesses so the revenue department uh, promotes a uh, fundraising by uh, exemption of uh, corporate income taxes from a profit of selling shares in startups. So at the end of the day, they might list on the stock exchange and investors, if they are individuals, they will be exempted uh, from the profits from selling shares, although uh, corporations will not be exempted. Startups might not always list on the stock exchange. There might be other circumstances. If the investor sells their shares in the startup, then they will also have to pay taxes, resulting in investors uh, thinking more about whether or not they would invest in startups. So the revenue department promotes this issue of fundraising by exemption of taxes, as I, ha I have mentioned earlier. And this measure r uh, runs from 2022 to 2032 and these measures are for uh, direct investors or indirect investors through DC. So the investors invest in DC uh, in VCs and the VCs invest in startups. And they mu must be startups uh, in the targeted industries, which are determined by the government. There are many industries. The reven the main revenue of the startups must be from the targeted industries and the investors must invest not less than two years. So if they fit these categories, they will be exempted from the personal income tax and corporate income tax for the profit from selling shares in the startups. These investors uh, uh, can be Thai or foreign investors. They can be individuals or corporations. They will receive all of these benefits. And the revenue department thinks that these policies will result in more fundraising for startups. Apart from that, the revenue department has more, uh, has additional policies, such as in terms of human resources. We work with the BOI to attract those who we call global talents to work in Thailand. We provide them with special visas called LTR visas, and the Revenue Department provides privileges, uh, ta tax privileges for those who hold LTR visas. For example, those who might have special skills who will help startups grow. Uh, they, if they are foreigners, uh, they will also, uh, the personal income tax will also be reduced. So it's a fixed uh, rate set of 17% of the income. Apart from that, we also have other measures such as upskilling and reskilling. And all of the, this information is on the website of the Revenue Department. Another issue I would like to mention today is op opportunities. In terms of opportunities, we might not provide uh, tax privileges directly to startups or funding directly to startups like other agencies. But one thing that startups will receive from us is the development of various services. The Revenue Department pro uh, provides uh, various incentives for business operators to use new services such as software that allows uh, SMEs uh, for instance in terms of uh, e-tax invoices or e-withholding taxes which allows entrepreneurs uh, or in terms of VCGs Uh, so they will able to 
deduct their costs. So uh, in this way, the startups are able to uh, uh, propose their products and services to respond to the needs of, uh, of the consumers. So there's uh, the investors and also businesses and the capacity building in terms of using software and technology. I would like to ask about SMEs. Is there a period for them to pay taxes that is different from other businesses? For SMEs, some SMEs might also be startups. We provide them tax privileges, uh, we, uh, the reduced uh, corporate income tax from the usual 20 percent. And in providing these tax privileges, uh, there is a no timeline. But the registered capital should be not more than 5 million baht, and the re revenue should not be more than 30 million baht. If they are still SMEs, uh, their corporate income tax will be reduced. However, if they grow and if they are no longer SMEs, it doesn't mean that they will not receive any tax privileges. They will receive other tax privileges to replace uh, the previous measures, if they uh, improve their company in a way that is beneficial towards the country, for instance, if they conduct R&D or if they develop other in other areas. So after they grow uh, for a certain period, uh, the BOI will also take care of them. And if we want to grow internationally, Can you uh, talk about how the businesses should prepare in terms of the patents or international property rights? Uh, what should startups be interested in? So we are actually uh, your wings. We, we strengthen you before going to the BOI or the stock exchange because if you're a business uh, operator, it means that you have an advantage. It means that you are the only one who is able to sell these products or services. And that means uh, when you forecast your revenue, you have more potential when you uh, seek VCs, uh, those VCs would want to invest because they know that uh, you are capable of doing this uh, product or services in this period. And in other countries, 100% of the unicorn companies uh, have intellectual property rights. And there are many types, but you have to ask yourself first, what is your strength? For example, for Book, which we have mentioned earlier, the strength might be the platform, idea, and software. That is a type of intellectual property right, which is a copyright. Or if it's a restaurant like After You, uh, the strength is a trademark. And Tesla, the strength is innovation. So you have to look at yourself. Uh, what is uh, your strength in terms of the intellectual property right? Because each country is different and uh, the, the period is also not the same. So you have to identify yourself first. And so these are only a few issues. Uh, for instance, the trademarks. Trademarks are something that consumers can remember our brand. Usually new business operators like to think about what can explain the company, but a trademark isn't like that. A good trademark has to be something that doesn't take into account the product and services. And what I mean is, for instance, for Gawi Book, uh, in the future, someone might use the word Gawi paper, Gawi journal, and it might be the same platform, then do we would we think that that company would divert the customers.
So you have to think of a word that is positive and easy to remember and not something that someone else is also using. So in the past, it was difficult to search, but right now you can search it on your mobile phone regarding the names of the companies. For instance, for Tao Bin, you can take a picture of Tao Bin and go to the website of the intellectual property, right? Uh, intellectual property department and you can check whether or not your trademark is similar to other companies so you will know uh, whether or not uh, to change the name and in order to prevent from uh, someone else filing a lawsuit in the future so that will not be good for your business and you can register your trademark online or offline at the department and the fee uh, depends on the product if there are many products we also have a fee for several products if it's uh, less than four uh, products uh, the registration period will take not more than four months <laughs> Next about patent. Patent is uh, one thing, especially for innovative, you know, uh, business people. If you want to raise the fund, very important that you have to sell the product which is not in the market. You should sell something new. This is to uh, solve uh, the problem, and those uh, the, those are the popular product. Most of them are patent, and the patent uh, you will be will protect. You know, you have to register it, and you have to apply to be registered uh, when you apply to register you can use the patent in order to operate the business and use as the uh, collateral uh, when you ask for fundraising if you said that you are patented if you have patent people or consumer uh, or your customers may think this is new product and you have rights for sale and you have potential to generate you know the income from that uh, property uh, products. There are three types of patent. For the first one is a sub patent. But if you have brand new, you know, products and oh, it's a more uh, it's like a value added product to solve a pain point, you need to uh, use more skills and you can register it as the uh, 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 specific, you know, products and it, the law will cover uh, 20 years. And next, uh, it could be the uh, the pattern to protect the uh, uh, design. So, uh, let me say a bit more. And next, about the uh, business confidentiality. Uh, uh, normally, the entrepreneurs who are startups, you know, they. Uh, could have some formula or a recipe for for their food or for their uh, supplement or their skin cards. Um, so all of the recipients need to be kept, you know, confidentially. And that uh, the confidentiality and the uh, patent could be uh, protected, you know, differently. For business confidentiality, you have to store, you know, that from the beginning. So when you partner with other business people, uh, let's say if you uh, find the partner to produce the machines, you will tell them not to disseminate the 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 um, uh, disclose. Uh, uh, the confidential uh, data otherwise other people uh, would uh, otherwise the uh, data could leak and 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 so the first entrepreneurs they have to make um, errors and tries in order to produce the 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 products and you know that product could be duplicated so business confidentiality is something that entrepreneurs need to know by themselves and they have to really keep and store you know that data if you disclose the data to somebody else, you need to have uh, protection measures. You can encode, you can uh, encode, or you can prepare the agreement to protect your confidential data. Because if someone disclose your data, you can sue them, you can uh, um, create a, uh, or, or make lawsuit against them. And people did not, uh, Thai people do not really are not aware of the uh, business confidentiality. Uh, when uh, you start partner with with any business partner, uh, everything sounds smooth, right? But um, 
So I'd like to, this is my recommendation. So entrepreneurs, before you uh, receive the funds from any organization, before you raise the funds, you have to strengthen your business first. Otherwise, it could be obligation that you have. It could be a burden that you have to solve. You know, uh, the problem in the future. If you are well prepared, uh, the uh, source of fund will be willing to to uh, support you. If you need more information, please go to the Department of Intellectual Property. But there are a different kind of an uh, intellectual uh, properties, and we have a, a total solution for SME called IPAC. If you go there, uh, you can ask them for uh, for their advice. Just chat with the staff, and they will uh, tell you that you have to go for patent, or you have to go for copyright, or you have to register uh, to get a trademark. Uh, it seems like you, uh, they could have their personal advices, right? One, one more point. <coughs> uh, in order to <coughs> register with the Department of uh, Property, Intellectual Property, meaning that you have to tell your process. If you tell the process, your data would not be uh, no would be no longer confidential. It really depends on what you need to be protected. Thank you. Thank you for these questions. I try to. Um, I forget to tell you about the um, a patent. Patent means if you sell this product, no one can duplicate you know, that product. But talk about copyrights. If you put the final product, if somebody try to you know, uh, use your formula, you cannot, they cannot do it. You, can, uh, you cannot do it. So it, it's, if uh, it's your product, it's hard to be reversed in terms of engineering. And no one can really copy you completely because you have a special process. You know, you have to go for, uh, you have to uh, sign up or, or register for, for copyright. It really depends on you. What about the time? Of protection, but for patent, uh, the conditions you will have uh, a monop monopoly rights according to the law, but uh, you have to trade off with the uh, knowledge that you have to disclose to to the public because some pe people may use this uh, recipe and and produce uh, uh, another type of medicine which could be support uh, absorbed you know to the body better. So people could really use your formula to to uh, to operate the business. So you have to trade off and you have to look at your strength and what kind of protection that you need. Uh, in order to register for patent, if you patent in Thailand, meaning that the protection will cover it in this uh, jurisdiction, right? But if you want the coverage, uh, let's say if I would like to invest in ASEAN countries, uh, how we can prepare ourselves and who should we contact to? As of now, the patent and trademark is something that you have to to register where you are, but we have the international agreement at, and Thailand is a, a state uh, member, and uh, it's it's called, called protocol. So if you you can uh, submit through Madrid uh, protocol that ha where you want to be covered, and the main market, uh, the the main uh, uh, players are already signed in this protocol. So these are the process that can facilitate you. Same as patent, if you produce or invent uh, the blockbuster medicine such as uh, Tesla or iPhone, they can submit through PCT to, to Thailand. If you want to sell your product overseas, you can you can uh, receive protection through PCT system in, in your destination country too. So it's not that uh, it difficult because we have international agreement to really help. And is there a mini mentor? Yes, uh, we can provide advice. Um, but for in order to register a patent, it requires a complex uh, um, um, Science, and we have patent uh, patent agents that you can write uh, the re request. This is another profession from our department. So we have a database, you know, of those people we they've been trained. So you can go to our department website and try to find a uh, patent agents and select the field or the area that you would like to get the advice. <coughs> so we provide the helper or <coughs> assistant, so uh, they can really help you to register it. It doesn't sound difficult, right? <coughs> so when you receive uh, data, once we know, uh, 
obtain the uh, information from expert, uh, we can feel that it's not that difficult to prepare ourselves. Let me walk back to Director Warakan one more time. I'd like you to please share uh, specifically about BOI or, or in uh, the investment for a startup. What kind of privileges that we uh, support to the entrepreneur? <coughs> there are two parts of our policies in terms of the uh, strategies. We call five-year strategies from this year until uh, the um, there are seven, 20 or uh, 27. There are two milestones. Actually, it touched on startup and innovation. So I need to tell you that uh, our objective in the next five years is to drive to new uh, economy. <coughs> which align with their 20, 20 years of strategies, national, uh, 20 uh, national strategies in order to support for new people <coughs> and ready for new uh, innovation, new business people. We pave the way for the future and uh, in terms of uh, manpower as well as different uh, industries. And for seven uh, out of uh, two out of seven milestones, number one is to adjust the industrial structure and strengthen the supply chain. Um, in terms of supply chain, if you are in the industry, you will understand that Thailand is so strong in terms as a production base. We also have an outstanding production. We are outstanding production base, especially for automotive. We are quite top uh, rank in the. Uh, um, Automotive production base. We, you may heard the word Detroit of Asia. So we are a great. We were the great uh, um, production base in Thailand, uh, in Asia, and we also be the best of uh, electronics. You know, production base, and uh, that can generate the revenue, to, uh, main revenue to the country. So if we strengthen the supply chain, we could be we will play an important role in terms of uh, production base. And next is about EV that Thailand will put an effort uh, in in this era and 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 look for you know uh, investment if we can really uh, have, if we can produce uh, EV and there will be other uh, kind of supply chains as well as the innovation in Thailand. And it will last quite long, not, not in the short term. It's different from other industry that rely on labor. Uh, and But for a technology or innova innovative you know, um, um, industry, it will last long. And, and Thai people can gain benefits from uh, studies and, and gain a knowledge about um, technology. Another milestone about startup, we definitely would like to strengthen a startup and SME. We have a supporting a mechanism to support SME and startup. In terms of startup, apart from um, uh, the uh, Trade Promotion Act, uh, we uh, apply, you know, a tax tool. As of now, we have the uh, Competency uh, Development uh, Act. Um, this is very modern. Uh, uh, that provide the uh, tax privilege, and uh, there will be um, the government will support uh, the funds uh, from uh, to to entrepreneurs uh, in order to use uh, as. Uh, the fund, uh, fund for investment fund, and uh, we have the uh, we have the uh, mechanism to support uh, uh, um, uh, uh, the new uh, startup, and uh, five million baht to hide you know uh, uh, people to work with in their project. But we have to limit uh, that. Uh, we have to limit to uh, technology uh, uh, related uh, um, uh, people. So if your project uh, or you have to think about if your business um, are under these uh, 13 categ uh, categories and we will have closed uh, a stage. If you're interested, you can uh, stop by our booth and we have to have on uh, face to face uh, uh, discussions. And of course, 5 million baht uh, uh, that we can grant under BOI criteria. For international startups, you know, this is something that we have to really rest, uh, take care. As Kun uh, Akarat already mentioned, well, facilitation is very important. Apart from uh, provide uh, tax privileges, BOI need to facilitate the trade. We have special visa for international startup or overseas startups 
So in order to le uh, le elevate, you know, so that people can uh, get access to visa, so it's so hard for uh, for readers to apply for visa, and they have to go through the different process. And actually, uh, this is a special visa that they can stay longer. And uh, so, smart visa will last as long as four years. And this is another mechanism. And these are the private services that uh, we will support the startups. Uh, yeah. If you'd like to know whether or not you are in the criteria of businesses that are able to receive promotion from the BOI up to 5 million baht, you can go to the BOI booth. So we have a form for you to fill in in order for you to know whether or not you will be able to receive the promotions. Startups come with innovation. And uh, this will enable businesses to reduce costs as well as enable your business to accelerate according to your needs. We still have time left. Uh, if you would like to say a few words to uh, the business operators, starting from Kun Praphan. Thank you. So I will uh, take the startups to uh, do, uh, Director Waragan to enhance their competitiveness. It's very interesting. So I've been with the stock exchange for 18 years. And I think the three main powers are the powers of the uh, stock market uh, for, for the capital market, such as Gawi Book. They are able to uh, create a billion billions of baht in the startups. And after you is actually on the MAA, uh, MAI, and also uh, Can Tuna companies that used to be OEM that used to be an OEM. They are now number one in the country, such as Thai Union. So I think the power of the market is able to scale up the business. So I think that's the first power. The second power that I believe in is the power of businesses. In order to grow your business, it's something that drives the world. It drives the economy. So if we understand con uh, the way to conduct business, if we have a business model, this is something that we are working on. And on the live platform, we have a fair amount of knowledge uh, that uh, you can go to the website and platform in order to learn and develop until you have a business model that can grow. And the third power, I think, is the power of network. Nowadays, we can no longer conduct business and survive alone in the world. You need a partner, such as on this stage, it's a good network. And Kuntaksa on has already mentioned intellectual property rights. And I think that is one key to uh, increase the uh, value of your products and services. And it's also a type of risk prevention if you uh, or else you will or else your business will have risk. And also the power of network uh, on this stage and various agencies will help drive forward and promote your business to grow regardless of which point we are in. I think it's a growth uh, according to the appropriateness. And uh, I think knowledge is important. If we have knowledge, we can choose the right path. Thank you. Thank you. So after this stage, I'll go to the website. Kun Do you have anything to say to uh, business operators? So after the stock exchange, I'd also like to uh, sell our services. We also have a website called Tax Literacy. You can go to worldwideweb.taxliteracy.academy. It's a website that provides knowledge about taxes. Once you enter, uh, you uh, will go uh, come. You will see knowledge, and it's not. Uh, knowledge that you can find in books, which you wouldn't want to read or it might be hard to understand. It's easy to understand 
and also practical. For business operators, I understand that during the initial phase, uh, you might focus on developing your business, but I'd like you to also uh, take into account uh, accounting and paying taxes because that will affect the future as the uh, manager of live exchange already mentioned you need to do a proper accounting or if you wish to list on the set or mai you need to do proper accounting since the beginning so i would like to uh, mention that apart from taking into account the development of the business i would also like you to look into proper accounting and paying taxes that is very important because if you start a business in the proper way if you do everything right you won't have to solve problems afterwards because at the boi i have been able to talk to many entrepreneurs and one thing that uh, uh, is a problem is that you are uh, not willing to uh, share your information and if there are good tools like the website of the revenue department then you can uh, look for information on that website and contacts on so for the final thoughts if uh, I think entrepreneurs nowadays are very lucky because you can receive support from uh, the stock exchange, from the government, and fundraising isn't difficult, but the important thing is that you have to make yourself strong. You have to know your business and plan about uh, intellectual property protection, and that will be your advantage to, uh, to grow. For instance, after you, uh, the value of after you uh, is the ingredients. It's the it's the brand loyalty. Everyone uh, thinks that after you is uh, is delicious. So this is considered a type of intellectual property right. And they remember the logo, that they recognize the logo. This is a type of brand loyalty. This is something that we need to do. And after that, fundraising will not be difficult anymore. So I'd like to tell uh, business operators uh, not to only look for partners, but also uh, think about yourself and then after that once you have a partner then nothing will be difficult thank you very much so i'd also like to sell some pro uh, services so now the boi is a partner of nia we also have a booth if you walk uh, straight towards the exit the BO boi booth is the yellow one on the right you can ask for information as well as the privileges and everything is free there is no fee after today's main stage in uh, room 107 from 3 to 4 30 p.m we have a workshop for business operators who would like to uh, receive uh, privileges we will tell you about the various steps and documents that you, you will need to use in order to receive promotion so don't forget to visit the booth and i think uh, there have already been people who have registered but there are still a few available seats but if it's full then you can also uh, uh, join on zoom if you have if you uh you can also contact uh go to room 107 and we still have a few minutes left does anyone in this room have questions for our speakers you can raise your hands and we will hand you the microphone and all the speakers here are from uh, the various agencies. If you are interested or have any questions, then feel free to do so. But I think everyone has uh, speak very clearly. I think we still have a bit of time. Uh, we might be able to uh, talk uh, afterwards. And finally, I would like to thank all speakers for uh, 
uh, taking your time to provide knowledge and exchanging information in today's uh, seminar. And thank you very much for uh, participating in this seminar and also those who are watching on Facebook Live and on the YouTube channel. My name is Uthai Wan Watana Suwakun. And i uh, see you again in the next event. Thank you. Thank you, all guest speakers and the moderator, Kun Ut Taiwan. And for the session about uh, promoting the innovation business in Thailand, I think all of you will have already received the answers on this topic. And you are able to adapt uh, the knowledge to use in the innovation business in Thailand for a more sustainable future. For the next session,